Mount Redtooth, its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. blinking on my board here, and that means there's a caller out there. You know, when the hours stretch into eternity like this, it feels like I'm stuck in a rut and just reliving the same endless night over and over again. I feel genuinely touched by someone actually reaching out to me. I just wanted you to know that it really matters to me. Caller, you're on the air. <clears throat> uh, did you know that uh, this is my dream job? True fact. There are places where our world is worn thin and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington, but there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake.
Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If, if the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now, this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now, that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I... all right. Um, let's get it installed. Yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, then, Kevin. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange. I don't quite know what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. 
That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. You're not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point, if you want to get something done.